Hey guys, it's Katie with Factory Direct Craft, and today I'm going to show you how to make these felt roses. What you need for this project is some felt in pink, white, or red, um, some green felt, a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, and some sticks. So once you have everything together, let's go ahead and get started. These little felt roses make a great centerpiece, and they only take a few minutes to make. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to do is first you're going to cut your strips of pink felt. So you're going to start very narrow on one end and then work your way out larger. And I'm going to cut two of those. And the second one needs to be a little bigger even than the first. So those are what we'll be rolling. And then you also need to cut one piece of felt that is straight and the same size, about a half inch. And this is going to be the center of our flower. Okay, so once we have this done, we're going to go ahead and attach it to our branch. So I have this little branch, and you just apply a line of hot glue on the top half inch. And I'm going to fold this on and roll it nice and tight, as tight as you can get it. And I'm moving down a bit as I go, just to add a little bit of like dimension to it, but it's totally up to you. Okay, when you get to the end of your felt, apply another line of hot glue right at the end. And fold it over in place. And I'm going to hold this until it's dry. So just give it a few seconds. Okay, now we get to start building, which is the fun part. So I'm going to apply another line of hot glue right at the end here. And I'm going to start at the lowest point on my rose that I have here. And I'm going to roll again. And you want to roll loosely. Try to keep it tight at the bottom and looser at the top if you can. Okay, so now when that's done, you're going to have a bunch of extra felt at the bottom. So you want to take your hot glue gun and run a thick, thick line of glue around the stick and fold the felt in. And this you need to hold until it dries completely. Because you want your flower to stay small and gathered at the bottom, but kind of bloom open at the top. And you can see this end here, you can kind of pull it out a little bit and then I'll add some depth. So there's what we've got going on so far. So once this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add the last layer of the rose petals. And we're going to just do the exact same thing with the line of hot glue on the end. Lay that on our rose and start rolling out. Keeping it nice and loose. And there we go. So now I'm going to do once again like I did last time with the hot glue around the stick. And we're going to push this all in nice and tight together. And again, really important to hold that in place until it's dry. So 
So now here's our rows that we've made, and now we get to do um, the fun part, which is the final step, and that's adding the leaves. Looks like I need a bit more hot glue right here to hold this down. And you'll see how small that stays at the bottom, which is just what you want. Okay, so now we're gonna cut out our leaves. And for this one, I'm gonna do two, but you can do however many you want. So I'm gonna cut out two squares of green felt, and I'm just cutting out the square first because then it's easier to work with. I'm gonna take this and fold it in half and cut out half of a leaf shape, which is together at the top and then I'm leaving a wide bottom. Just like that. And now I'm gonna do a similar cut on this guy. Narrow at the top and the nice wide bottom. Okay, so now to attach these leaves, what you do is you run your hot glue right down the bottom and I'm gonna wrap this around my rose. And it should cover the entire bottom of the pink felt, which is what you want. It'll keep it looking super clean and nice. So you can see that kind of finishes it up. And then you can come up to your leaf and pull it out to get a little bit more dimension. Perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my second leaf on there, doing the same thing the line of glue around the bottom and just wrapping that nice and tight and we'll pull it out and there is the finished rose I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project thanks so much for watching